welcome to the channel guys just ignore whatever is going on here today i'm actually going to try out jamaican black castor oil yeah i got it <laughs> and i'm using the sunny isle brand i've never used jamaican black castor oil before and i've heard so many good things about it so i decided to give it a try what i'm going to do is i'm going to use this for one week to see how it do on my hair or my scalp and, and it's, too, it's too thick for me to use on its own so i'm have to, I have to mix this with an oil and the only oil i have available now is coconut oil i'm going to use one part jamaican black castor oil to three parts coconut oil i think that should do My hair is freshly washed. I have not oiled my scalp. I washed my hair yesterday. I just moisturized and sealed in the moisture, but I did not oil my scalp. So this will be what I'll be using for one week on my scalp. That's why I did not oil my scalp. I've stopped using my hair growth oil. I stopped using it some days ago because I knew I was going to do this challenge. Let's just see how it will go. Will it grow my hair? Let's wait and see. And of course, we won't be able to compare accurately if there's no before and after. So I actually measured my hair before now to see where it is so that we'll be able to compare properly when the seven days or the one week is over. Let's start. Today is day one, so I'll be oiling my scalp with this, with the mix. So yeah, this is the mix. I've seen the video earlier when I was talking. This is it, and it will be enough for me. It's just on the scalp, not on my hair. This is day one. <laughs> day one, let me... When I touched the castor oil on its own, it was really thick. Even now, it's quite thick. Maybe I should have diluted it more. Maybe I should have diluted it more, but I'll just keep using it like this until this challenge is over. Then I'll adjust it accordingly. This is really this. Is, this thing is thick to massage my scalp lightly. So this is day one, done and dusted. I'll see you the next day. So today is day two of using castor oil. I experienced some itching this morning, but it stopped. So I don't think it's related to the castor oil. But <laughs> to be honest, that was the only thing I used on my scalp. I'll just keep an eye on it and see how it goes. I finished with this side, so yeah. So I'm done. See you on the three. Hi, today is the four. I did not record the three, but I definitely oiled my scalp with the Jamaican black castor oil. Remember, on the two, I said I was experiencing some itching, and it might not. It was not connected to. The castor oil. Apparently, it is connected to the castor oil. Guys, my scalp is unusually itchy. My scalp does not itch this much. But since I started using the Jamaican black castor oil, I've been experiencing serious itching. I was tempted to stop the challenge, but I'm determined to see through. So yeah, I'm just going to keep doing it and 
see how it goes but my scalp is itchy i'm tempted to stop i have not been going anywhere thankfully so my hair is still in these four braids so i'll see you on day five or six or maybe seven <laughs> This is result day, but before we see the result, a quick update. I continued using the Jamaican black castor oil until the last day, which was day 7. My scalp continued being itchy. It was really itchy. And I think I just realized that Jamaican black castor oil is not, is not good for me. It's not something I should use often. Am I the only one who has experienced itching with this product? Please, if you experienced itching using Jamaican black castor oil, let me know. Please leave a comment in the comment section. I would really like to know. But yeah, finally, I'm excited that this is over. Let's get on with the results. If you've watched up to this moment and you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. When you subscribe, click on that bell by the side. Turn on post notification, click the bell and select the all options. Now, whenever new videos are posted, you will be one of the first to get them. I'm excited to have you as part of the family. No, now. I decided to use a different colored marker just so we can see properly. I tried guys, I tried to be as accurate as possible, but measuring this thing is not as easy as I thought. And I'd not use a tape, a measuring tape, because I'm quite clumsy with a measuring tape when it comes to measuring hair. I've tried it several times and it just doesn't work for me. I prefer measuring it this way. My top is oily and my hands are oily because it is very dry where I am. So I make sure I moisturize the tips and seal every night. That's why you can see the stain on my shirt. So just ignore that, please. So yeah, what do you think about these results? I'm quite shocked. I was skeptical when I said this. I, I mean, I didn't think I was going to see anything significant in just one week. What? But I these saw. results, hmm. Oh okay. I'll just so let you guys yeah. judge. <laughs> let me know what you think about these results in the comments. I was wondering if I didn't measure this right, but from all indications, I did. And yeah, here are the results. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. And oh yeah, thank you. We are at 7,000 subscribers. That's incredible. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.